Hi, friends. Happy Sunday. Wow. I don't even know what day it is. If you are watching the replay, let me know you're watching the replay. Um, I am going to wait for a couple friends to get on. Won't be too long, but I just want to make sure we have people here who want to be here. Say hi when you hop on. We are going to be talking about all things transition um, because it's a super exciting time. But if you are new, it can be super confusing and we want to make sure that you are prepared for this new season because it's going to be amazing. Okay, hi guys. Hey, hey, hello. Hi, thanks for hopping on, you guys. Um, tag your teams. I think that works. I think if you do the like the at sign and tag them, that works. But if you have new people, I would tag them, let them know because this was kind of um, a last minute type of thing as far as time goes. But hello, happy Sunday, you guys. Usually we don't do business on Sunday as far as like lives and stuff goes, but um, I wanted to set you guys up for this week and getting prepared. Um, and especially if you have like orders going in this week, Monday, whatever. So if you need anything, you can grab it with your order. So, um, oh, excuse me. Thank you for tagging people. We're going to get started. Okay, so we are kicking off transition month, right? So um, January is the official transition month. Um, you will hear transition reference to the month that is in between the previous season and the upcoming season. So that is the month um, that the transition materials are typically available, which means that new materials for the upcoming season become available to us consultants and the previous season or the season that we're currently in right now, all of those items or most of them go on sale. So um, welcome to transition month. Welcome to January, you guys. This month is just as exciting as next month. And I want you guys to really hone in on the idea that we literally still have a whole month ahead of us, okay? So by now, I'm sure most of you have seen the catalog and are like in awe of the catalog. So you can drop down your favorite item or send or whatever you're excited about in the comments. I'd love to know. Um, I know we had a post, but share it here. Get excited because the new catalog is absolutely stunning. Just when you think since you can't do um, it better, they continue to one-up themselves. And it's awesome. And I am so pumped for February. I'm so pumped for the spring and summer catalog. It's going to be amazing. So amazing. So yes, be excited about that. But this month has so much to offer you guys. And I cannot wait to um, see what the rest of this month brings in terms of the LTOs that um, Orville and Heidi spoke about on their um, in a month live. There are a lot of things coming up um, this month. So it would be really hard pressed for you to like sit at zero PRV for the end of this month. So I really hope that you guys don't count yourself out this month because you're waiting for next month. And we're, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about um, promoting next month too early and things like that because there is a strategic way to um, work around this transition month where we know there's exciting things coming up, but we also have a lot of things that we can be talking about and telling our customers about that can really pump up your January um, so that come February 10th, you get a really nice cushy paycheck that you can then, if you wish, um, spend on all of those new beautiful products and scents, okay? So first things first, um, prepping for transition month. So like I said, January 1st, um, at 4 a.m., all of the transition materials became available to us consultants inside your consultant store. Um, and like I said, these are the items that are for the new spring and summer um, catalog season. So it will begin February 1st and it will go all the way till 
February, March, April, May, June, July. July. And then the new one will start in August. The new um, season will start in August. So we have six months of the spring and summer catalog season, which is so exciting. Um, and typically what happens is they'll show us the, some of the new stuff that's coming with the um, fall and winter catalog during SFR. So that's super exciting to look forward to as well. Um, but obviously we're months away from that. Okay. So prepping for it. All of that stuff became available. You are able to go and purchase, if you haven't already, new catalogs, new showcase brochures, new product sheets, um, new testers, and oil sets, and all this stuff for the new catalog. But I'm going to go over really quickly what some of those things look like, um, because I know some of you had questions, and if you're new, you're like, well, what do I need? Um, and I, I want to be very clear. You can do so much with little okay you don't have to go out and buy all of the things you don't have to go out and buy it all right now just because it's available you guys this catalog season lasts six months okay so if you just buy one pack of showcase brochures and a couple things of scent stickers or the transition set of testers um any of those things on its own you can do so much with and realistically you don't need it until the end of the month and so if you weren't able to buy it on the first that's okay um and it's actually really great because i can tell you what i think is the most important things to have um walking into this new spring and summer season um and what maybe isn't necessary um or what i use most in my business okay so again this is just for me everybody works their business differently if this doesn't work for you if you're like mm, i, I want to do more or i'm going to do less feel free, okay? This is this is just how I run my business, what I have found most successful for me. Um, and obviously everybody is going to sit differently with it, okay? So first things first, we have our catalogs, the catalog pack, um, which is great. It's your regular 25 pack of catalogs. Um, and those are awesome. Love those. I would recommend getting those at some point. Um, before the catalog season, if not right at the beginning of February, if you haven't snagged them already. Um, catalogs, obviously, we know are really beautiful. They're great. They have all the information in it for our customers. Love it. It's going to be the best way to showcase, especially a new um, catalog. Okay, so yes to these at some point. Do I think that you need them right off the bat, what you should go and order right now? No. And here's why. This is great, but these obviously are a little bit more costly. And I say this all the time. Catalogs are great for newer people to Scentsy, um, those first time lookers. Getting somebody hooked on Scentsy to catalog is the best place to do that for, but it's not something that's absolutely necessary for longevity um, as far as repeat customers or just getting uh, new items under people's eyes that have already seen Scentsy, okay? And what I mean by that is we have other really awesome options that I feel like are a little bit more cost effective. So the next thing we have is the showcase brochure, okay? And these are thinner, much thinner, they're bigger, um, but you can easily fold them up um, and so that they fit into different kinds of envelopes, different kinds of spaces. These are really nice to um, like put in your car. You could keep a couple of them in your purse um, and staple some samples to it or your business card or whatever um these are just really light and the thing is is while they may not be as descriptive as our catalogs they have all the same information for the most part um including scent descriptions um and all the scents actually happen to be on one or two pages a two-page spread which i really really love um and they uh, they also have all the oil descriptions um and so what you lose out on for the most part is like the really beautiful stage pictures but it does have pictures of all of our warmers and it's just more of a simpler spread of our entire catalog um and also has all the scents we offer and what um it comes in uh on the back and so i love our showcase brochures these are what i would say because they're also cheaper what i would say to um use and utilize as much as possible in your business now Side note, I did not use these well in my first year and a half of business. I only started using these fairly recently, um, much more. And they're the things that I run out of the most just because they are so easy. And especially if you're somebody who sends out mailings a lot and you're doing fun mail and you're thinking of ways to get your customers pumped up for the new season before it happens or right in the beginning, these are great because they're lighter than the catalogs. And like I said, you can fold them up and they fit really nicely. Um, I use these all the time to mail to new customers who I'm sending thank yous to. 
they fit real nice into those six by 10 or six by nine um, bubble mailers that we use. These are great and you can staple the samples to them or include some inside. So showcase brochures, that, that is what this looks like and these are really great, okay? Um, the product sheets. Now these are really awesome as well. These are even more condensed than the showcase brochures, obviously a lot less pretty than those, but again, it will get the job done and you get total bang for your buck here. Um, I think it comes with 75 and they're only like $9 or something. Um, and I love these because you can easily fold these up to fit into a business size envelope. So if you are running your business in, um, a way that looks like mailing out stuff to people, and you want something that you can fit into an envelope using one stamp, the pro product sheets are great for that, okay? Um, you can staple a felt sample to it, um, put a sticker on it, um, a scent sticker that you get for this new catalog on it, and bada bing, bada boom, you're done. And it is a super cheap alternative to doing all the things, okay? So if you just do this, you're totally good, okay? So the product sheets are a really great bang for your buck um, and a really great option to have in your business at all times, okay? I would recommend this all the time because sometimes if I run out of showcase brochures or I just wanna do the envelope thing, um, I'm go I'm gonna send them this instead of the showcase brochure, okay? So those are the three big ticket items that um, have come out that showcase all of our stuff and um, as far as like right now, if you are wanting to spend less or you're like, what is necessary? I would eat, I would say the showcase brochures, the product list, and uh, maybe you can buy one or two, maybe five catalogs to, for you to have on hand so you can get familiar with the catalog. Um, but otherwise, the showcase brochures and the product list are going to be your best friend and will totally suffice in running your business until um, you are able to put more in or you want to close a party on the 1st of February or whatever. So as of right now, those are the two things I would, I would suggest along with um, especially if you don't plan on purchasing the sales kit, which I will talk about later, the set stickers that became available as well on the first for the transition set, um, they, they came out with all 10 new scents in the scent stickers. So if you're not familiar with the scent stickers are, this is them. Um, you get them in your warm of the month kit or your scent of the month kit. Um, and they're just stickers that smell like the scent that is listed, okay? Um, so I love that Scentsy does this for us because what we are able to do is you can purchase um, a set of these and it comes with 75 stick or 72 stickers, I think. Uh, I can't remember how many come in each. Comes with a lot of stickers, okay? So when you, you pay $3 and you get like three or four sheets of these, I think, um, you get a lot of stickers. And what you can do is you can put these on product sheets inside the catalog. You, um, there's little forms, um, and I'll share it. I have one. Um, there's little postcard size things where you can put a sticker of each scent. And so if you are like, oh, I can't really buy testers right now, um, the scent stickers are a really great investment because they go a long way and you're able to share them with everybody rather than being stuck to whoever you're um, coming in contact with for the testers. These are an awesome way to let your customers, new customers, new people, people at parties smell the scents that are coming. Um, and especially if you are doing the new, um, uh, first chance, last glance type of, uh, deal at the end of this month, which I would highly recommend. These are a great way to stick them on there and, um, let your customers smell. So when they release on the first, there was a little bit of a delay with a few of the scent stickers, but afterwards at about 5 a.m., they did get it all sorted out and all 10 stickers were available. I looked the other day and a couple of them have already sold out. I'm telling you, people utilize these in their business like crazy because they are that good. And what I love to do is I do get the catalogs and if I'm giving catalogs, like for example, my box by Bree, sorry, I feel a little all over the place. My box by Bree this month for January, what I am doing is people who opt into my box by Brie, everybody's gonna get a catalog for the new season. And I am going to put a sticker of the scent, cause I got all 10 cents into the catalog. So they're going to get, my box by Brie VIPs are going to get their first sniff and first look at the catalog for being a box by Brie VIP. But what's great is I'm able to give them the experience of smelling all of the new scents before they become available. So you can do that as well in some form, however you want to do it. Um, and 
figure that out, okay? So these stickers, a lot of them are still available. Most of them are still available and they're $3 and um, they make great cinder outer things, okay? So I would recommend, even if you can't get all the stickers, get a couple of them because like I said, they go a long way, okay? Um, so then we have, let me catch my breath. Then we have the transition set and the full testers. Now, the full set of testers are not available yet, but if you are a consultant, then you have a full set of testers. The difference is with the transition set, what you are going to get inside that set is the 10 new scents that Sensi has come out with. So the scents that we've never had before will come in that set. In addition to that, you will get the returning spring and summer scents. So for example, um, uh, be fabulous. Well, that's not a good example because that was a, that was a, okay. Coco lime. Coco lime was part of our spring and summer collection last year. Okay. So now in this transition set, because it's coming back, you will get a tester of Coco lime, um, and all the returning spring and summer scents. So the scents that you won't get are the scents that are return or that are staying around that were available this season. So we're talking about classics, right? Like Amazon rain, black raspberry, vanilla, um, Luna, all of those scents. So, uh, you will not get in that transition set. You will just get the sensor coming back from previous years, um, the spring and summer scents, plus the 10 new scents, okay? So what you do when you get the transition set or the transition set of testers is you're gonna wanna take the testers that you have and whether you have one set of testers or you have multiple sets of testers because you've been around, what I always do is I put it all on my floor, I dump my bags out, I get my discontinued list, okay? I get my, and I do this before February 1st comes. I do this before the month that the new season is starting. I do it before then so I can be ready. Oh, excuse me. Um, usually I do it when I get my transition set of testers and I sit on my floor, I dump them all out, I get my discontinued list and I start sorting. Um, and I put away or I start sorting and I, I put aside the testers that um, have been discontinued for this month. And I also bring out the other testers that I have from previous years. So like if this is your first go around with Sensi um, and a new season, then you're only going to have one set of testers or whatever. Um, but for me and people who have been around, you're going to have multiple sets of testers. So what you do with those extra testers from this past season, or if you have multiple sets of testers that are coming back, um, what you do with them is optional. And we can talk more about that later. I Giving them away, you can totally do that. Um, I like to keep a few of them on hand to keep for next season because chances are a lot of these scents will come back at some point. Um, we are seeing the return of pink cotton and scents like that that we've seen a couple times in a row now because they're so popular. So doing away with it, I don't necessarily wanna do with the testers because I do wanna have multiple sets um, for my business, I want to have multiple sets of these testers, um, per each season so that Sorry, I'm able to, I'm having trouble hearing, um, so that I can do multiple grab bags or I can, I always have a set, a full set of testers every season at home with me, um, for reference or just to have. And then I always have two or three extra to be able to do grab bags, to be able to put extras into join kits or um, new consulting kits or something like that. So I like to have a few. Now, if you are starting out, I don't recommend that, okay? Because you're gonna be pouring in a lot of money that I don't feel like pays off until you are a season or two in and you can wait, okay? It's not worth going and spending all that money now. Um, but just for reference, that's what I like to do now that I've been around. I keep a lot of my testers. If I have multiples, like more than three of the same scent of testers, then I'll start giving them away to customers or um, throwing them in a thank you bag or something like that where I don't expect a return on it okay so that is the difference between the transition set and the full set now the full set of testers will not come out until February 1st and that will include all the scents that are in the new catalog so that goes for returning scents um Luna all the classics all of those you'll get all of the scents that are available in this catalog in the full set of testers on February 1st. So you can purchase that if you want. Um, and it's never a bad idea to, if you are able to financially, again, I don't recommend making that huge investment. And the other thing is, is that like, 
if you're able to, I would say if you have money set aside or if you want to make a purchase to invest into your business and you want to do it in the form of testers, I would say just get two or three of the transition sets um, because what people are going to be most excited to smell um, and most excited to dive into are going to be the new scents um, or the returning spring and summer scents. Most people, um, at, if you're new, maybe this doesn't apply to you, but most people who um, your customers or whatever who are familiar with Scentsy, they know what Luna smells like. They know what black raspberry vanilla smells like. So they're familiar with the classics, but what people are going to be asking you for come February, March, um, those couple of months where the catalog is still really new, people are going to be asking you for those newer scents. Um, and so having multiples of those is a really good investment rather than pouring your money into a full set, um, at this time, my personal opinion. Um, so those are the transition materials, um, just kind of a brief overview of those um, and what that's like. And so part of your preparation should be figuring out where you want to invest in um, and how you're going to utilize it. And I always say this, um, people ask, you know, what should I buy? How do I make this really, um, is it worth it to buy this, whatever. The thing is, is that nothing nothing you purchase for this business will ever be worth it if you do nothing with it okay hear me you can buy all the testers all the catalogs all everything you can buy it all but if it sits in your space if you don't send it out if you're not doing if you're not booking parties if you're not putting the testers under people's nose if you're not making use of the things that you have then it's not worth it okay then just don't do it period, point blank, okay? Um, so you're the only one who's in control of making it successful with whatever you have. You can you can be the more successful than the person who bought one of everything with just buying one set of transition testers depending on how you work it, okay? So do not feel like the person who bought the most transition materials or bought the most stuff for this new season is gonna be more successful for you because if, or more successful than you because if you're using it wisely and you're putting it for your business and investing the time that it takes to make it work for you, you you could be leaps and bounds ahead of those people. So use, if you're going to invest in your business, if you are going to purchase these things, use it. Use it for your business. Um, do the things necessary to make that money back because it's possible and it, I do it every single season and I don't lose money when I purchase these testers because I'm making it work for me. Um, I'm making my money back tenfold when I purchase a set of testers because I know I have parties booked. I know I'm going to get grab bags out. I know that I'm going to book sniff, sniff, sniff sessions and people are going to purchase. Okay, so those testers are not being wasted by sitting in my office and I'm not doing anything with them. Don't buy catalogs and stickers and all these things and not do anything with it. Okay. So, um, just a little side note. And again, what I do with my business may not work for you. Okay. Um, so this is a lot of my opinion and a lot of my input based off of how I've worked my business and I've changed it and it's ebb and flow and it could change next year and, and you just never know. But, um, I'm just coming with you with my experience and, um, I'm not asking you to meet me at my level. I'm not asking you to one up me or, um, feel inadequate because this is not like a comparison thing. This is not any of that. This is my experience with my business and um, what I found helpful for me. And I'm really just wanting to give you information so you feel encouraged and informed in making your decisions for your business, okay? All right, so buying the stuff, sorting your testers. Sort your testers when you get them um, at whatever point, make that transition now. Um, what I do plan on doing before I get my testers is sorting my discontinued testers um, and pulling out the scents that are being discontinued so I have them front and uh, center for me so that I can be constantly reminded of the scents that are going away, be pushing those for my customers. I'm going to be pulling a list of customers um, who really love the scents that are going away so I can be talking about Scentsy Club, okay? Um, and that's what I'm, that's what I wanted to get to. So because we are in a transition month, 
we have things being discontinued, right? Since he's got to make room for all the new spring and summer stuff that's coming, um, which is a lot of really amazing stuff. But in turn, we have to say goodbye to the items or the scents that are fit more into the fall and winter category. Um, and so obviously, I'm sure you have customers and I'm sure you have scents yourself or things yourself that are going away that you really love. And your job as a consultant is to be the person who tells your customer um, that these things are going away and what their options are. Because uh, when it comes to scents and wax bars, they have an option to keep those around. Now, we don't have an option to like keep the wildlife warmer forever and ever. You can't put that in your Scentsy Club. But we do have Scentsy Club, which allows your customers and yourself to have their favorite wax bar, their favorite scent, whatever, in their club forever. And let's not, let's not forget the value that Scentsy Club is when it comes to residual PRV, okay? If you have not talked about the Scentsy Club yet, if this is not something that's been a focus of yours, I highly recommend really sinking your teeth into um, promoting and talking about the Scentsy Club this month because this is such a great opportunity because I know you have customers who are attached to a scent or two from this catalog. Why wouldn't you, first of all, you're, you're in the business of customer service. So it's literally your job, okay? But why wouldn't you offer them the option to have this scent forever? Um, and in turn, it benefits you greatly by having residual PRV occurring every month, every two months, every three months, okay? This is only a benefit to your business. And if you don't have Scentsy Club, if you're not familiar with what Scentsy Club is, please, enlighten yourself and educate yourself about what the Scentsy Club is because it is a huge, huge value in our business. I was looking today and I'm pretty sure I have 10 or 12 Scentsy Club subscriptions processing this month. I can guarantee you that's upwards of $500 in PRV um, that I know I am getting this month alone just from PRV or I mean just from Scentsy Club. Because I talk about the Scentsy Club with my customers, I know that um, that I have people who are already actively um, utilizing the Scentsy Club. And when I tell them, hey, your favorite breakfast in bed is going away, uh, vanilla mint, winterberry apple tea, all these scents that they love are going away, guess what? They add that into their club and then their subscription grows, which in turn grows my PRV. Um, and I don't, it, it would be detrimental for your business for you to turn a blind eye to the reality that you could meet your leadership minimum you could meet your minimum of two hundred dollars if you're just trying to like stick around and be active or your 500 prv you could meet that without even trying okay this is prv i don't have to work for i've already put in the work and that's what the sensi club is right it's putting in that initial effort it's having those conversations with your customers it's talking about it in your vip it's going live about it. it's talking about it in um on your Instagram stories, or it's creating a Scentsy Club for yourself um, and showing your customers the benefit that you find, even as a consultant, now consumer of Scentsy, how it benefits you. Because getting your bars forever and ever is just one of the perks a Scentsy Club has. So are you telling your customers that they get 10% off after $30? Are you telling them that they get half off after $60? Like those are huge benefits that to a customer of yours who maybe have been on the fence, maybe the always get my bar perk isn't a big enough perk, but the 10% off or the getting um, a half off item and being able to get a brick, um, an exclusive brick that we can only get in the Scentsy Club, maybe that would be what pushes them over the edge. And all of a sudden your customers are pushing for that $60 mark so they can get the brick half off. Um, so all of those things have to start with you. And the best way to educate yourself about the Scentsy Club is to create one yourself. Let's be completely honest, okay? Um, and there is no minimum with Scentsy Club. So you can literally just put in your favorite bar and spend the $6 a month or spend the $6 every two months or whatever. So recognize the value of Scentsy Club. And if you do nothing else this month, educate yourself and be talking to your customers. 100% be having these conversations with your customers. Um, and I, I, we are in the midst of our Jumpstart January. And I would be lying to you if I did not believe 
for one minute that most of you, if not all of you, could get at least a quarter of the necessary PRV, right? The 2000 you could get at least a quarter of that by pushing Sensi Club this month. I believe that wholeheartedly, 100%. So be talking about the Sensi Club. That is your biggest push. That is something that, that um, you can be working on right now is talking about the Sensi Club. All month long, there should be no reason that you're bored with what Sensi has for you. You're waiting for an LTO. No, you've got the Sensi Club to be talking about because we've got scents that are going away, okay? So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be talking about the Scentsy Club. And with that being said, I'm also going to be printing out information for the Scentsy Club and sending it to my customers with every thank you mail, every packaged order. When they order bars, I'm putting in Scentsy Club information because I want them to know, hey, look, you can get this bar. You can get your favorite scent for forever and ever. Okay. You're not done with Winterberry Apple Tea. That's okay. You can get it forever in your Scentsy Club. Okay. Um, so... Yes, and I just see Sensi Club is perfect for slow months, right? This month, last month, Sensi Club did wonders for me last month, okay? Um, so 100% be pushing Sensi Club. Obviously, we have other things, right? We have 10% um, off bars. That's amazing. And I'm pretty sure that that translates into club this month, that they're honoring that discount on bars inside your Sensi Club. So um, do not... Do not wait another minute to invest in the Sensi Club if you're not already a subscriber or to be talking to your customers about it and be pushing it um, because it is it is the time, okay? Um, I have 12 Sensi Club orders shipping this month and 10 next month. So, and in December, I had... Okay, let me just tell you all what I'm looking at. In your orders tab, there is a tab for Sensi Club that tells you upcoming processing days for all your customers who are subscribed, okay? It tells you how much PRV you earned last month and how much you earned in January. So it doesn't tell you how much you'll earn in January, but tells you how much you earned. Um, so it's when it processes. It tells you subscription details, um, like how many subscribers, how many subscriptions, um, because one subscriber could have multiple subscriptions. And then Sensi Club orders shipping this month and next month. It tells you all of that information. So I can see everybody whose order is processing this month. I can see everybody and how frequently they get it. This is not supposed to be a Sensi Club thing, but I want you guys to understand just how easy, first of all, Sensi has made it for you to be a representative for the Sensi Club um, and be a consultant for it, but also how beneficial it can be for your business. So in December, I got 525 PRV from Sensi Club alone, okay? My leadership minimum met just because of Sensi Club. So 100% do not... Yes, Maverick, but my children. Okay, just a minute. Um, okay, so Sensi Club, all of that. Um, yes, yes, you can have one and then go. Um, yes, and sending a thank you, whatever you want to do for your Sensi Club VIPs, do it, okay? Um, I send them something special every month when their order processes, and um, it's just something fun. And I probably will also include them in the getting a catalog or maybe a showcase brochure because they're part of the Sensi Club. They'll get that early as well. So I know kids. <laughs> okay, so Sensi Club, push it. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about, which I need to pull it up, is the new sales kits that you guys probably saw pop up on your news tab. Um, and if you haven't been around for very long, you may be like, what is that? So the new spring and summer sales kits are an opportunity, again, for consultants to be able to purchase bundles of some of the new stuff um, to be able to have early. So it's kind of like the scent of the month or warmer of the month. It's kind of like that concept, but you get to pick and choose what you'd like um, and you'd be able to get it earlier than customers or earlier than it's available to everyone, um, aside from consultants who take part in this. And um, depending on which ones you choose, you can um, make, make samples of it, right? So that's like 
the biggest thing that, again, when we're talking about like, should I do this? Is it worth it? Should I invest into this? Well, if it's an investment for you and you're looking at it more than just like a consumer and not being like, oh, I just want these bars or I just want that soap or whatever. Um, if you actually want to make money back on it, then purchasing these items is great. But what are you going to do with it? Right? So if you get the bars, then my thought process would be make samples of them, um, get them under people's noses. Um, warm them, whatever, share, share however you want to. Um, but if you will make any investment into any of these sales kits, then I highly recommend making sure that you have a plan to, um, market it and, uh, make it work for you. And because the reality of it is, is that you could, and here's for the people who are like, I don't know if I, if I will have the money or whatever, here's the thing. You can get this stuff using rewards, okay? And you can get it for less than what it's advertised here. That's just the truth. Like as your SSD, I look at some of this and say, mm, I can wait till the first and get it for a discount, okay? I can use a half off on the body wash that I really want and not pay full price for it. Um, so if you're looking at it that way, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? This is a great opportunity to um, have this stuff early, have it be a consultant perk for you, and work your business a little earlier than normal with the given supplies. It's great. I, I utilize this. I'll probably get the bars, um, maybe the body stuff. Um, maybe the body stuff. I'll probably get the bars um, because... I already have some of the cleaning stuff and I already have some of the laundry stuff still. So that's really cool. But because I was here for a previous season of it. Um, but this stuff is really great and I do recommend, no, I do think that it's a great investment if you use it wisely. Okay. So there are a lot of ways that you can use the bars. You can take the, um, you can use a cube and give it to, or you can give a bar to, uh, sorry, let me start over. You can give a cube to every person who books a party in February. You could give a bar to every person who books a party in February. You could give away an item, whatever you want to do. Um, you can do all of that. Or, I mean, you can offer that kind of stuff as incentives for future hosts or people who join or whatever, okay? So um, there's lots of things you can do, lots of opportunities and um, so definitely took a look at that. It's in your news tab. It's under new spring summer 2021 sales kits. It's going to be available on January 18th, which is also the same day that the Valentine's Day collection is launching. So if you need to make note of that, make note of that. We don't know what's coming in the Valentine's Day collection. Well, in its entirety. I know Heidi and Orville talked about some things. I'm sure there'll be a news tab on that soon. Um, but the new season sales kit, it's a great thing to look at take inventory of, um, write down the things that you want. Also, I will say you get PRV on these kits. Okay. They contribute to the host, um, the host base on any party that you add it to. So if you, if you're like me and you're like, okay, I'm gonna close a party on the 18th, I can add whatever kits I want and it will add to the host page host base, which will in turn increase my rewards. However, you cannot use rewards to purchase these kits. Okay. Um, so that's great. You get paid off of this. So, um, you will make money back on it, but if you want to make more then I suggest working it appropriately, um, what else? Oh, okay. So last thing that I want, uh, want to say, and then I'll go back and answer questions. Um, your perk to being a consultant is getting this information early, okay? Getting first look into the catalog, um, getting your hands on these new products, um, all of this stuff is perks for you as a consultant. Now, you are an independent business owner and it's on our workstation. You're not really in, under an NDA or anything like that. So if you want to share it with your customers tomorrow, if you want to send them the PDF of it tomorrow, you can do that. I, like anything else that we have, like LTOs launching, stuff like that, I personally do not recommend sharing stuff from the new catalog right now. I don't recommend sharing it 
next week. I would be waiting. Like I said, I'm going to give mine to my Box by Brie people, but they don't get their Box by Brie's until like the third week of the month, um, sometimes the fourth week. I don't recommend sharing it until at least the third week of the month, like late in the third week. Um, why? Because you are working in January. It's January. We get the opportunity to look ahead since he wants us to know what's coming. They want to get us excited. Um, and for a lot of us, it's an incentive, right? To like have really good parties in January, to have a party open for February, all of this kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so that is a perk for us, but sharing it with our customers too early can be detrimental to the PRV you're trying to hustle for this month because you will have customers who will say, mm, you know what? I was going to get the wildlife warmer because it's discontinuing, but I saw this really beautiful warmer in the spring and summer catalog. I'm just going to wait for that one instead of them buying the wildlife warmer this month because it's being discontinued and they just have to have it. And then seeing the new catalog in February and saying, oh my gosh, but I need that one too. Excuse me, I'm just gonna make it work. Okay, I'm gonna go to Starbucks a little less this week and I'm gonna buy that one too, okay? It's not duping your customers out of anything, but it's giving them the opportunity to love what's available instead of waiting for what's not, okay? They don't, they don't need to know what's coming until it's like knocking on their door, right? Um, and so don't hurt your sales this month by pushing what can't be available yet. There's no, even if you're like, well, I'm taking pre-orders. I know my February is gonna be stacked. Okay, but what about your January? What's your, Jan you're taking pre-orders for February does nothing for your January. You're gonna be sitting in February with no paycheck if you do that. Okay, and I don't want that for you. I don't I don't want that to be your story. I get the excitement. Let's let's be here and be excited about what's coming and find really awesome ways to share it with our customers um, at the end of the month rather than spoiling it now. Okay. Again, that is my personal business advice. You can do what you want, okay? Um, but it is it's it is just one of those things where I just don't feel like it's necessary. Also, especially because we know we have LTOs coming out this month. We know we have a Valentine's Day collection. We know that there's two buddies launching, okay? So if you want an opportunity to be able to share and then benefit from those things, I would highly suggest just waiting, okay? Build up that excitement. Come up with all the fun things that you want to do to introduce your customers to this catalog and get really excited about it um, and then unveil it at the end of this month, okay? And it will still be just as magical. Your customers will still be just as excited, if not more, okay? And then, um, you know, the last week of the month is always really fun because then we can give sneak peeks um, and we can start letting our customers in and offering to send people who book a party a catalog or sending them a page like I've done in the past where if you book a party with me, you can pick, you know, there's 80 pages in a catalog, pick a number between one and 80 and I'll show you that page, okay? Um, really fun things that you can do at the end of this month to get your customers hyped up, pumped up for the new catalog and it's really just not worth doing it now. It's really not. We have so much going on this month, so much to be working for and so much to be excited about that it just doesn't make sense to me that people do this and so like, again, doesn't have to make sense to me. Your, it's your business, but that would be my recommendation, okay? Um, so if you're new here, I love you. Like, not me trying to go hard on anybody. I, I'm not gonna knock anybody for doing it, nothing like that. That's my piece. I can't tell you what to do because it's your business. You get to run it how you want, how you see fit. If you're okay with it, then I'm gonna sit here and do me. My head's down, okay? That's just business advice. Um, a... Uh, personal business advice. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna go back and answer some questions. Um, if you have any questions, you can drop them down. I will answer them for you. Um, I'm going way back, way back. Um, thank you guys for listening to me because wow, I was rambling. Um, yes, yes. Yeah. And one of my, also another like fun pro tip for a new catalog. Um, I have a party open. I actually, Okay, 
I have a party open that I'm gonna keep open all month long. And that's the party that I'm gonna send to customers who are not local to me to be ordering. Um, and so, and I'm gonna keep that party open for customers who order online, who are not local to me. I'm gonna be sending that to me to them and their follow-ups, things like that. That's gonna be the link that they get. Okay, so as the month goes on, the rewards are going to build. Then guess what? On February 1st, I'm gonna use that party that doesn't that doesn't have any um, orders on it that needs to be ordered before the end of the month, right? It doesn't have any discontinuing products on it because everybody's ordered online. I'll collect local orders to be able to close out on the first when it gets closer, but I'm going to have that party open all month long for all my online orders. Then come the first, I'm going to have local orders to be able to add to it because that's where I'm going to collect my orders from or collect my orders to add to. And then I'm going to close out that party on the first cash in on those rewards, getting all of the things that I want. Okay. So that, think about that. Open that party up today. When you're doing your follow-ups, use that link to send to your customers who are going to order online, um, so that you can reap the benefits on February 1st and use those rewards to get what you want. Okay. Um, yes, I think there are postcards, Michelle, in the consultant store still that have like the four little spots for the, um, the scent stickers on it. Those are really great to use. Be Fabulous is coming back. I'm so excited. So, so excited. Yeah, the full tester bag can definitely be overwhelming. Um, yep. Um, yep. Yes, if you have too many leftover um, catalogs, product sheets, whatever, then maybe evaluate, like, how am I using this in my business? Do I need them? Do I need that many now? Like, all that. Obviously, the spring and summer season is six months long, so you have plenty of time to get rid of it, but don't go buying 10 sets of catalogs. Like, that seems outrageous. Like, make sure, like, I bought catalogs, and i pretty sure I'm going to need to order more on my next thing because I think they're going to be all spoken for. So, um, I'm, I feel like I usually am not right on the money. I'm usually under the amount that I need. But most of the time, my catalogs have a home. I only keep like two or three to have just on the offset. But most of the time, I'm like sending them out. They have a place to go already. Um, no, wash your whiffs. The only thing you can get in your club after it's been discontinued are bars. Um, yep, making samples, making samples. So good. No, no bundle and save in Sensi Club that got discontinued. Um, you can give fragrance flowers as a gift to recruits. You can give whatever you want to recruits. Um, yep, yep. I have my party link open launching one since December. Can I keep it open still since I'm close to getting 200 or so over January one? Um, oh, Brandy. Open that one. Yes, the stickers will come back in stock. I just don't know when. Okay, cool. Went through it. I think I got everybody's questions, comments, whatever. So um, if you have any other questions, always feel free to drop them down in the comments um, or... Um, you can always search this group for transition period or transition, whatever, because this is not this this is not the first time we've done a live on it. Like this is not the first time we've been through transition period, a lot of us, um, and definitely not me and Alex. And so we have done lives and talked about it before. And generally, it's the same concept. Generally, it's the same talk. Um, so if you have any other questions that didn't get answered in this or you think of something later, definitely do a quick search of this group and just see if it's something we've covered before. Um, so and then obviously, if it hasn't been, then feel free to ask it. Um, no, no question is a dumb question. We just want to make sure that like we're efficient and being able to find the answers um, and not bogging up the pages with like the same questions because typically most of the time it's a question we've answered before. Okay. So um, yes, this month is so exciting and I hope that you feel like excited and pumped up for the new season um, the new spring and summer season. And if that's what's fueling your fire right now is to get to that new season, that's great. But just know that like, just like we were pumped up for fall and winter, like we have to continually be working in a way that 
we are our own best motivation, right? And so find your fire, okay? Find your fire. Get excited about this new season. Get excited about January because there's lots coming this month. Um, and don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself short. January is amazing. And we're all refreshed and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and out of the holiday season. And hopefully you guys got some good rest. And um, we're going to kick it off. And it's going to be awesome. So, um, yes, yes, yes. Share your fire. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the shirt. Yeah. I love the shirt. Okay. So I hope you guys all have a good rest of your Sunday. Be sure to sharing what you're doing. If you come up with something, if you think of something, if you're doing something special for your VIPs, whatever you got going on this month, y'all share it here, please. Like we love to see that stuff. I'm so inspired by a lot of you guys. Like every time y'all share something, I'm like, whoa, that is so cool. Like our minds just all work differently. And so please share whatever you have going on, okay? Yeah, you're excited. your customers will get excited for you. So yes, awesome. Okay, you guys, I hope you all have a great Sunday. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you later. Bye.